right, folks, coming back at you here again. Um, this year has gone by so quickly that I can't believe we're already approaching season eight. Um, already approaching season eight. So I'm out here, public property. Um, I'm doing a little bit of fishing today. Doing a little bit of brainstorming. Um, I'm going to try and do a little bit more vlogging this year because I end up um, I end up filming quite a bit of stuff and it doesn't always get used just because I mean I understand when we get on YouTube we want to be in the action the whole time um, but there's a lot of prep there's a lot of strategy I just, I didn't bring my 22 today. I've, I've got a pretty heavy, pretty heavy gear kit today. That 22 just wouldn't, wouldn't fit. <laughs> There's a lot of strategy involved. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of downtime. There's a lot of um, disappointments. A lot of things that goes into bow hunting. And if you're new to bow hunting, I definitely want to give you the the real deal of it all. So creeping up on this field here. I've seen deer in there in times past. It is so thick right now. Like I said, it's July 14th. Hot, it's about 95 degrees. And here I am in the woods. Uh, but anyway, I'm looking uh, looking to put up some trail cams here in probably the next couple of weeks. Get some trail cams put up in the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't know. I may hit this place too this fall. I don't know. I haven't hunted it in a few years. So, anyway. Um, I was able to kill a buck last October at a Nick's place. I had a, a pretty busy year where I just didn't get to do as much hunting as I was like to. So, I was fortunate he let me quite a bit of his place and I had three shots on three nice bucks so at least I was able to harvest one of them the other one was a pretty nice eight point in late December and then a uh, unique looking eight point during rifle season of course I was able to harvest that eight point in October with my bow so anyway Probably going to be doing that. Need to be getting uh, at the archery range as well. I'm uh, working with Scotty, working with Eve. Um, you know, I be able to get out to 50, and uh, 50 is a hard shot for sure. It's pretty thick here in the Ozarks, but I've had a lot of them hang up at 40 yards, and if you're not, Sided in for 50 and 40 yards is about your max and uh, I've killed them at 43 I've killed taken 39 shot I got that doe at 60 60 yards here a couple of years ago um, 60 is an awful long shot but that's where I that's my max is 60 but I think most bow hunters should be able to shoot out to 50 yards. Especially if you're doing any um, hunting out west for like, uh, you know, antelope or anything. 50 yards ain't nothing. There's no cover. Getting a, 
get a deer to come in within 40 is going to be really hard. Um, but yeah. anyway, so I need to do some archery at the archery range. Need to. Uh, uh, I've been experimenting a little bit with uh, my tree stand set up. I know most guys today are saying saddle's the way to go, but I got some mobility health issues that um, I'm not able to, to use a saddle, I don't think. I've never tried one, but it just doesn't sound like something I'll be able to do. So, like I said, I'm already getting excited for bow season. Still doing a little bit of fishing. <laughs> uh, I like to start getting into scouting mode. Go out to Mark Twain. Maybe try to cut some uh, shooting lanes. My mom bought a new house and got a little bit of property there. It's not much, but it does bump up to get a little bit of woods. So, I'd like to see some opportunities come from that. But, we'll see how that plays out. So, anyway, we'll go ahead and get off here and get on down to this woods pond. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to try and do a little bit more vlogging this year. Keep you updated as the season progresses. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to the YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.